Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they're saying the roof is too dark, but this is a bitmap and it traces terrible. And it's a sm small DPI bitmap. And if you, if we zoom in here, she's gonna, they are gonna engrave this on a coaster. This might actually work. But if you go to bitmap, resample, and let's set it, and so watch right in here, and let's set it for 300 dots per inch. It made the house a little bit smaller looking, but I think the the fuzziness must not be bad. So, not too hard to change the roof line. It's really not. Uh, but you can't, this is, I'm, I was trying to explain to the person, this is a bitmap, it's a it's a drawing, it's not a vector. She asked, well, what makes it a Corel drawing? A Corel drawing would be a vector, where everything would be sharp and clear. So this thing is only six inches, so the blur might even go away. Let's set our nudge factor on seven. And you could very easily draw this roof and change it up quite a bit by getting the rectangle tool and getting right on that rectangle and then going there and actually going all the way to the top and go up to object and convert it to a curve and then get the shape tool and bring in that node to right here. So all I'm doing is making a rectangle the size of that one roof. Now you're going to, have to do this a couple of times. I'm going to zoom in to get this thing more spaced out and even and um, you need to look, take a lot of time on it. Not a lot of time. I mean, let me nudge this over here. Now we can do things, two things. Let's take this and control D and make a duplicate. And that's a little irritating. You ought to have your duplicate distance always set on zero, zero. And that's the reason. So let's control D and make a duplicate. And we get this over there. Now we're going to, put that back where it was, and we're gonna try this. We're gonna go back minus front. That didn't work. I think I actually, for a little bit, I'm just gonna nudge these, the text out of the way, because that's all one unit. Let's try back minus front. It took that away. It's no longer there. Let's uh, just make sure and we'll take a yellow box trick and go to object, order, back a page. And this, all this, and if you're gonna engrave this, this whole white background needs to be taken away, but we can kind of do that the same way. But you can see that the roof is gone. So now we just need to draw a roof. And this is really pretty easy. What I would do is kind of draw a rectangle about the size of a tile. I would make it something Let's go 0 .0, 0, 0.01, no, point, point 0.1 by point zero 0.06, just so it's some numbers you can remember, and then put it up in that corner. Then we're going to nudge it point 0.1, Control-D and make a duplicate, and you could use a lot of, you know, uh, uh, step and repeat on this and do all kinds of things, but we're just going to run it out. Now we're going to make it half of that 0 0.06, which would be 0 0.03. Control D and make a duplicate, and nudge it down twice and then over. And then we can just nudge this down. And then you could keep duplicating it. Now don't worry about that we're running off the triangle part of the roof because now we can take our triangle and let's, okay, we need to put our nudge factor back on eight inches. Always pick a number that you can remember or either write it down. Now I'm gonna group these all together. Object, group, and then I'm gonna well, that's way up there with the eight. Nudge this back down. 
And because we have some on the outside of the, the wall, we're going to go and we're going to intersect. And now let's nudge it down. And you see what we have. We have the shape of the roof. Now at this time, you could color that in. I'm pretty sure the, and with a lighter gray, and there's your roof line and a lighter gray. Now, before I engrave these, I would test that. And what's kind of neat about the, I must have changed my nudge factor to something different. And so, but we could very easily put this thing over there on top. But don't change your nudge factor because it makes life a lot easier. We're not quite there. Let's change our change our nudge factor to something really small, 0 0.01. Zoom in here and click on it and nudge that thing over to the roof. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe even nudge it down just a hair. Now the other thing is gonna work. I would do the exact same thing here. And you've already got your bricks, you know, uh, just take this line away. And you've got your bricks for the next one. If you need them a little bit bigger, make them a little bit bigger. And so this one's gonna be exactly the same, but it's a little bit bigger. You know, it's just, and you could make this one different. This looks like a metal roof. So you could just have double lines here instead of the brick type pattern or the shingle type pattern. Uh, I don't know if you have to go as far as, you know, you could do this. It looks like this is a roof and then this is a roof and roof. Uh, so that's personal preference. You could, you know, make this, do the exact same thing I did and just put it back. And if you look, look at the difference. Uh, now this is gonna be a lot sharper. Just make sure that your roof tiles are not hairlines. They're 500 points, so they will engrave. And if you're engraving them, I would make them, uh, well, your color palette is evidently CMYK. I would, if you're gonna engrave, you really need to do uh, RGB and, can, and do that. There's plenty of videos on how to, you know, go to windows, color palettes, and go to palettes, turn off the default and put on RGB. And then you could take this color right here which is a CMYK black and left click. And now it is an RGB black. Now I'm going to make one more video for the person to tell them how to get rid of this. Hopefully I can do it, this white background. Because that might engrave, especially if it's a CMYK white, which we could probably do with the eyedropper tool and to see the white is an RGB white, so it should not engrave, but it'd be a lot better to get rid of it. So stay tuned for part two if I can, if I can figure that out. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.